Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. In day 18, we will learn about stacks and queues. Stacks and queues are list-like data structures that have specific orders in which you interact with the elements. Both stacks and queues let you add elements to the data structures and pop or remove elements off of the data structure. The difference here is that queues are a first in first out principle, also known as FIFO. The first element added to the queue will also be the first element popped from the queue, just like people lining up to buy tickets. A stack uses a first in last out principle, FILO, which means that the first element added to the stack will be the last element popped out of the stack. You can imagine washing a stack of dirty dishes. You add dishes to the top of the stack and always take the dirty dish at the top of the stack so that the first dish you add to the stack will be the last one washed. Our task today is to use queues and stacks to determine if a word is a palindrome. We will add each character in a word to a queue and a stack and then pop elements off the queue and stack and compare them for equality. The word is a palindrome if all elements in the queue and stack are equal. If at any point the elements popped off the queue and the stack are different, then the word is not a palindrome. To do this, we need to implement the initializer for our solution class as well as four different methods. A push character method to push a character onto a stack, an enqueue character method that enqueues a character in a queue, a pop character method that pops and returns the character at the top of the stack, and a dequeue method that dequeues and returns the first character in the queue instance. So, we're going to use a Python list to represent a stack, since we can easily add elements to the list and pop elements off of the list at the end. And we're going to use a Python queue from the DQ package to represent a queue. Um, if you haven't worked with this package before, uh, I've pulled up the docs here. Um, they're at docs.python.org, and you can look in the collection section. Um, the Python docs are super easy to access. Uh, you can look at the table of contents and access any package you have interest in. You can do a quick search. I highly recommend reading the documentation, especially if you're unfamiliar with the package, to learn how to use it uh, and learn why people wrote it in a certain way. So we're going to use the DQ uh, package from the collections. And this works exactly like a queue is intended to work. Uh, you add objects left to right, and when you remove them, you move them from the left side first. Um, you can read more about it in the docs, uh, and I'll link them in the description down below if you want to read them more in depth. So, uh, let's get back to the coding. Let's look at the code that HackerRank has provided for us. So, we're going to get some input string, and then they're going to initialize our object of our solution class and in that they're going to go through every single character in the string and push that character both onto the stack and enqueue it in the queue and then they're going to go from the top of the stack which is the last letter in the palindrome or in the word that we're testing for a palindrome as well as the beginning of the queue which is the first letter and in a palindrome, that should be the exact same. So you can think of the word race car. Race car written uh, from left to right is the same as race car written right to left. And so that's why every single character should be the same when we remove them from the stack in the queue. Um, so I'll, I'll quickly type it out here. So let's say this is our queue. And we have race car here, and it's our stack. Well, we're going to erase the first letter from the queue, which is R. And we're going to also remove the last letter from the stack, which is R. And we're going to do A and A from Q and C and C from stack here. And all the way through. And you can see here, the rest of ECAR is the same as this going the other way. But if we have a different word, like stack, for instance, Stack written one way 
on the queue is going to be different than on the stack because on the queue we're going to take the s first and we're going to compare that to the k on stack and they're going to be different and that's how we're going to know the word is not a palindrome all right so let's let's implement our solution first we need to initialize our solution class so we'll initialize the queue and the stack properties of the class uh, but before we do that we need to be able to import our queue so we just looked at the docs it was part of the collections package and it's called dq so we're going to import from collections a class called dq and we're going to initialize our solution to have a queue and a stack Then we're going to implement our push character method. So we're going to take in a parameter character, which might be like the R in race car, and append it to our stack, which is really just a list. And we're also going to have an in queue character method. So these both uh, append them to the end, uh, but uh, the difference again is that a queue reads from the front and a stack is going to read from the end. And then we're going to have a pop character method to pop a character off of the stack. And we're going to return it to hacker rank so it can test it down here. And finally, we're going to make our DQ character method. So this is going to pop the character off of the beginning of the queue and return it. So you can see that when we're reading through the string for the first time, we're using push and in queue to add the characters on. And when we're going through the comparisons, we're popping or dequeuing, and if they're different, then we know that it's not a palindrome, and we'll exit the for loop, and we'll print the word is not a palindrome. All right, let's test it. Great, passed for race car, which we knew that we would, and it did not work for yes because for the Q we would get Y and we'd be comparing that to S from the stack and we know that it would not be a palindrome. Let's submit it. All right, we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you missed the previous video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you wanna see me solve other problems, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.